all these metal chunks right here were stuck on the inside of here so I'm gonna take it upstairs right now uh, and wash the sprocket and the compensator I'll come back down and I will assemble it for you guys and I know that one piece is broken over there I have a p I have one coming in the mail but I'm gonna put everything together all I have to do is take that 70 Torx and take it off and and that would be an easy fix, but I'm gonna assemble the bike anyways, and uh, that part's coming in the mail. I just cleaned up all the parts in the kitchen. Luckily, I got away with my life. Uh, wife was pretty easy on me today. Uh, I had to clean up the kitchen. But yeah, got the parts all cleaned up in the kitchen. We washed them with dish soap, uh, inspected the parts. Uh, and now we're gonna put them together. Now, I won't stress on this too much, but I will say you need to find the instruction manual as per your bike because I've seen about three different Screaming Eagle manuals, um, instruction manuals for the Screaming Eagle uh, replacement, and they all were missing these two shims out of there. And then I found one with these two ships in there. So, finding it, the shit on the internet, um, because they, for this compensator, they make uh, one for the 2010. So this bike comes stock with this compensator, which is a Screaming Eagle compensator. So it's an upgraded one from 06 to 2012 to 2013 I think and then in 2000 well 2012 I think they're you can bolt them right up uh, 2010 maybe but 06 needs some fan dangling with it anyways this is an upgraded compensator but my bike is a 2014 so on my instruction manual for my bike I ripped everything out and I didn't number the guts um, knowing that I can just find it in the manual <clears throat> so when I did find it the compensator as specific for my bike with these two shims in there washers um, I think they're more or less shim washers with thrust washers shim wash whatever you want to call it anyways my bike is a 2014 FX DC so I think from 2012 on up to 2016, these should be the direct bolt-in, uh, but you're going to have to ask your Harley dealer on that. Um, this right here is for the Screaming Eagle Compensator install with the two washers, okay? Two washers, because that's what I noticed that was different on the other ones. They just didn't have these washers. So, what we have here is we have the lip. There's a little lip right here. So, these two washers compensate the gap there. Now, it's not flush, but it took up more or less half of the gap on it so now the instruction manuals would say this piece okay now we are in we already inspected all the inside of this you have the o-ring inside of there okay that o-ring definitely needs to be replaced now, I had no idea, but uh, let me see. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna go in with it. So I'm pretty sure that this flat side goes towards the back like that. The O-ring's right there. Um, I'm gonna throw some grease inside of that O-ring to help it seal and the grease yeah so real quick
the old concaves. We want the concave the cage up towards me. Okay. This is where it was seated on there. Now we want the two concave parts to come together. Not like not like how you stack dishes up. We're not stacking dishes, we're gonna stack dishes the opposite way of what you would normally do. So let's put those two faces together now. Now what we have here are two small ones. Remember, we're not gonna stack dishes. We're gonna make them opposites of each other. And we're gonna stick these in there also. sprocket it says this side out we've already inspected cleaned I'm gonna go to the center piece again and clean it off fucking sprocket about 500 miles I'm gonna do an oil change so <clears throat> and after about 500 miles after that I'll do another oil change and then after that about 500 miles I'll do another oil change so it says this side out we have this uh, bearing more or less where oil comes out of these circles right here make sure that's all cleaned up this one's broken we will be replacing it um, it's gonna it's going on the bike for now but we're not gonna ride it until this is fixed but this is a simple pull out put another one in torque it back up so this right here is um, the thrust washer, two thrust washers, and a bearing. Okay. We're gonna throw some oil on this bearing. I 
this and we'll glue it up. And I would put it on there. Now it doesn't matter which way it goes, just as long as it's washer, bearing, washer. Okay? That boy. And now there's three points, there's three holes. Line it up. Now that's the assembly. You can do different conversions, but stick with the with what they recommend. It's able to handle the horsepower. I have a 107 um, uh, Mackie in here, and it fucking got over 110 horsepower, or it's got a, over 100 horsepower, and. Um, this compensator works just fine. So we have one in the mail coming. And I just got this piece off eBay. 35 bucks. Instead of paying the $200 for the whole thing. Or 300 however much it is. Harbor Freight does have Pittsburgh T70 Harbor Freight Boom, boom, 175 foot pounds. Get yourself some. Now, blocking it with a piece of wood with the chain on is, I think, best. A piece of wood cut out of 45, two by four. Wedge it right in there, wedge it in here, or vice versa if you're breaking it. Breaking or making? A little piece of 2x4 with a 45 wedged in there in this gear or in that gear or you can try to make one that does a 45 but I just like to just 45 that just the 2x4 sideways I'll show you guys how to do it when you do take this apart try to mark your stuff this being one the sprocket or one two and then your washer bearing washer, uh, sprocket, uh, crown, and then all your stuff. Try to mark it all down and um, remember, and if it's gonna be a while, put a little letter to yourself, put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in there with the nut and the washer and the bearing so that everything stays locked tight, air, air free or whatever don't get dust on it and you'll have a little note there telling you next time you're fucking with it so until next time guys i'm gonna go watch the conor mcgregor fight i'll see you guys tomorrow peace